Hey everybody, I'm Amber and you're watching Key West's Finest Network, your place for everything Key West. In this video, I'm going to tell you about some of my favorite happy hours. Now these are places that are a little more local, have kind of a groovy vibe and a really good value with a food and drink combo for the most part. So, no particular order here, but I'm gonna just give you some of the my go-to places. I love going to the Blue Macaw for happy hour. They have an extended happy hour. It's from four to nine and half price appetizers as well as drinks. So I'm not gonna go through like every single happy hour. There's an app for that. My buddy Craig, who runs the Eco Discovery Center, has an app called Happy Hour Key West. It's like $1.99, but it's well worth it. It has all the different happy hours in town. So you can download that when you come to Key West and it'll help explain where you can get all your $3 beers and well drinks. Here's one you would, you would never think about. It's called La Grignote. It's a French pastry coffee uh, cafe on Duval Street. They have a happy hour from three to five on coffee drinks and pastries that are in the display case, which I think is a genius way for them to turn over you know, their pastries, get them all gone for the day so they can make fresh ones the next day. So for you people that aren't big drinkers, head over to La Grignote. That's cool. All right, here's another one. The Orchid Bar at the Orchid Key Inn. Now, lots of hotels have really cool, groovy little loungy parts in them that you might not ever know about. So the Orchid Key Bar is part of the Orchid Key Inn, kind of on the corner of Truman and Duval. It says Tiny Little Craft Cocktail Bar, and it's uh, really cool. I love it at night, but they do have, I don't know what they have, if they even have happy hour, but just go in there, it's super cool. Same with the Speakeasy Rum Bar that's in the Speakeasy Inn on Duval Street. I'm sure they have some sort of happy hour, <laughs> but you know what? Sometimes if you just go to places between four and six, they're going to have specials, but they don't exactly announce them or advertise them because it's, look at this, it's such a cool place that if they do that, um, they'll be too busy because they're very, very small places. So go to that those places anyways. Same with the Saint Hotel. They have their burgundy bar inside and their tempt restaurant. Half price food and craft cocktails. So go in there, don't tell everybody, but that's where you're gonna find the, the locals and it's a super cool place. So those are hidden places that you would never know about. All right, my next one is another one that's off the beaten path. It's called The Roost, it's The Roost Bar. It's on Fleming Street, just off Duval. They have a happy hour, but I love going in there like 11 o'clock at night. You'll see the who's who of Key West and it's just very cool and groovy and small and they have craft cocktails too but they do have a happy hour so go there if you want to do happy hour my next one is vive wine bar it's right across from blue heaven right next to the crepery on petronia street they also have a great happy hour they don't they open at three o'clock so their happy hour is um i think four to six just like every most people's happy hour four to six or so except for the saint there's just four to seven i think now, Vive has two for ones, so that's really good because they have very high-end wine and an excellent cheese selection. That's one of my favorite little wine bars in Key West. Next to uh, also Divine Wine Gallery at the Gardens Hotel. It's not a happy hour thing, but if you want to go somewhere where like no tourists know about, go to the Gardens Hotel, get a, a, a card for the wine gallery, and you put your card in, and you can get like. Uh, two ounce pour, uh, two ounce taste, four ounce pours, or like a six ounce glass of over thirty wines from around the world. They're in that, um, like they're in a decanter, electric thing that you put your glass under. Super cool. Divine Wine Gallery inside the Gardens Hotel on Angela Street, just off Duval. Okay, now for food, I love the Boat House and the Half Shell Raw Bar, and the Thirsty Mermaid. All of those have seafood. They have, um, well, the, the Boathouse and the Half Shell have like half price appetizers, really, really, really good deals on food. Don't tell everybody because it gets too crowded, but that's where I love to go when like all us, all us conch fish get together and we have meetups. We usually go to the Boathouse. It gets crazy crowded, but if you can get the big table in the middle, it's, it's totally a great place to meet up and excellent food. All right, those are my happy hours. And comment below with what your happy hours are. Same old, same old. Why don't you get like off the beaten path and go to something different. All right, guys. I love you. Make it a great day. Bye for now.